Good morning, guys. Welcome to Friday, glorious Friday. You guys, we have a huge problem, and it's about Lady and her special gift that she has. So you guys know, Lady bites everything. She chews everything. Like we just recently started putting them in stalls again at night because it's starting to get really cold and yucky, and I don't want to blanket them. At least I want to give it a try. I want to see if our horses will grow a coat and be able to keep themselves warm this winter because I'm against coats for so many blankets for so many reasons. If I don't have to blanket them, I don't want to blanket them. And I know ladies never worn a blanket in their whole life. I don't want to start that now. Like blankets are so bad. They are so bad, you guys. They are hard on a horse's body. Like when a horse is running and they're confined by this blanket or they're moving and they're confined by this blanket, like we always have to have our massage therapist and our chiropractor in the spring after our horses have worn blankets. And they both always say the same thing. <gasps> Those darn blankets. Anyway, yes, you, I'm talking about you. You are trouble. You are trouble. She was trouble when she walked in. Hi, <laughs> oh, little girl. She's like, I'm not little, I'm big. Oh, don't, she's, she's one of those ones that sucks your fingers right in. But she feels it to make sure it's not a finger before she bites down. But anyway, back to my story. I'm gonna have Sam tell it. Sam? What happened at 3.27 a.m. So on the cameras? On just, the camera, because it's angled more the, the, or less this way. The camera's so angled this way. Can't see the stall, so I'm gonna have to Show the stall. She's gonna have to face it to the stall tonight. But what happened at 327? Storm was out visiting Penny at 3.55 this morning. 3.55 this morning, he got out of his stall. How many times has he gotten out of his stall this week? out of his stall like at least twice this week. Two times this week? Yeah. So what do we think is happening? So I'm thinking lady here is, lady is biting and unlocking the stalls. We think she is, because why? Why do we think that, Sam? Because I'll show you right over here. Come on over here, you guys. Sam's doing chores. This this stall is hard to lock. It's hard to unlock. It's hard to unlock. You have to really push it in. Right. But I remember last night it was locked like this. This is lady stall. Gabby stomp. usually puts this on, which I'm gonna have to do now. But this is how I stall, saw ladies stall this, this morning. morning so more likely she likes to have her head out and eat stuff and sometimes she'll like the halter here she'll drop it off the thing she'll take that she'll halter, take off. halter off she gets bored off. she's a bored horse she'll bored, she'll, she'll get that she'll drop it on the ground yeah. so so uh, this is how the stall was and and this one was all was open, open. so we think so I think lady we think that Lady is letting Stormy Boy out of this stall at night and it's not fun. We're gonna face the camera at the stalls tonight just to see. Yeah, and then we'll see. Because when Storm gets out of his stall and he's just walking around doing whatever the heck he pleases, he comes over here, he eats the hay, and obviously this is where he hangs out. Because he just stands here and poops everywhere. Messes up the hay. And we think it's all your fault. Lady, you are trouble. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. So this is what I don't like. I see Stormy here in the shelter. And that makes me feel like he's cold. It's not like so super cold yet. It's gonna get cold tonight. But yeah, I don't want them to get cold. And notorious, he's notorious for not growing a really thick coat. And here's the hard part though. There's literally no support for people like me who want their horse to not have a blanket and now it's raining it's raining anyway there's no support because everybody like in the horse world and horses it's like with kids people shame you or at least they try to shame oh be nice they try and shame you if you don't do what they do because one they think that they're the best owner if they do by doing it by doing things their way like it's weird how horse people are and also it's a threat to them. Some people feel like it's a threat. If you say, oh, I'm not gonna blanket my horses. I'm gonna let them grow their own coat. Then they feel like you're saying, oh, you're doing it wrong because you blanket your horses. I think everybody should do it their own way. But if you don't blanket your horses, people don't, people get upset. They don't love that. All right, I'm getting wet. <laughs> so 
Here's the big thing about us blanketing our horses. I understand when people blanket their horses, especially uh, us. Okay, wait, I got a video when I get out of the rain. So here's the thing about us blanketing our horses. The only reason I don't want to blanket, well not the only reason, but one of the big reasons that I want to not blanket them is because our horses can go in the barn. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's what little Toffee does. She eats from the top. But Posies, Posies, I don't know. She's covered in hay. Anyways, so our horses can go in the barn. So we bring them in at night. We can bring them in if it gets like bad weather. We can bring them into their stalls. And they can come into the barn, all of them. And they've all been in the barn several times. There's two different areas. So if horses are going to fight each other or whatever, they all have a spot that they can walk into the barn. They can go into the barn and they can, like they have shelters as well, but then they can also go into the barn. So I personally feel like if anybody's gonna try and not blanket their horses, we should be successful at it, or at least we should give it a try because there's a reason, like they, we can keep them warm. And like the place where I bought Penny, she didn't wear a blanket. She only wore a blanket. She was only blanketed on really bad days. I can do that. I want to try it. So comment below and tell me, do you blanket your horse? And if you do, do they go in at night? And do they have a place that they can go in during the day if it's really cold and wet and yucky? So tell me your story, you guys. Tell me your story in the comments. What do you do with your horses and why do you do it? There's so much pressure from everybody outside that blankets their horse. Oh, get out there. No. Ah. Oh my gosh! Posey just passed. Posey is awake. Oh no! Oh no! This is not fun. <laughs> anyway, comment below what you do. So, Posey came in. <laughs> I didn't really get a choice. She wanted in. I think she's cold because she was buried underneath the... She was buried underneath the hay. And now Toffee's in as well. <laughs> and Kirby, I lost Ellie. I lost Ellie. I do not know where she is. <laughs> she really wants to play with with Toffee. Are you going to play? Anyways, I'm just going to wait for Posey. She didn't finish all of her breakfast this morning because that's the problem. I told you already with pigs is that they eat so slow. <laughs> they eat so slow and then you can't let the goats out because then the goats steal her food so i always have to like she eats as much as she can and then i bring it in but she's hungry she's a hungry girl but anyways i wanted to tell you guys that something that i learned the other day kirby just literally chased toffee out of the barn for me so that worked out perfectly oh <laughs> there you are oh <laughs> my gosh get over here sit here beside me sit here beside me all right so this is super interesting I'll try and tell you the story as I'm being headbutted by Toffee. So I was looking at, up on pigs and like what's involved with, uh oh, Ellie just fell. What's involved with breeding pigs and how does it work? All right, this is not gonna work because everybody's trying to kill Ellie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't even think about it. Come here, Ellie, come on up again. Come on. Oh, all right. Stay here. Just sit here, stay. Sit, sit there, sit there. The fascinating thing about pig breeding is that baby pigs, I don't know, maybe I'm the only person in the world that didn't know this, but I was shocked by this. Baby pigs are born with, <laughs> oh my gosh, Tavi is trying to headbutt Ellie on my lap and it, it doesn't feel good when that happens. But anyways, baby piglets are born with needle teeth. There's four teeth, two on the top, two on the bottom and the side of their mouth that are so sharp when they're born. Oh my gosh, why is everybody so mean today? Probably wondering like, what are these teeth for? Lots of babies are born with some teeth. That's not that big of a deal. Well, yeah, in pig teeth, in pig birth, it is a big deal. And this is why. They're, every piglet chooses a teat. They choose one teat and they claim it as their own. And they keep that teat for the entire time until they're weaned. So they each have their own teat. Like what other species does that? Usually like they just share teats, but no, not pigs, they don't share. So they claim this teat. And if another piglet comes and tries to steal their teat, they use these teeth to slash the other piglets. I'm reading this and I'm like, what the heck? How is this possible? How? 
is there so many pigs alive in the world when <laughs> this is happening? So not only do they slash their siblings when they try and compete for teats, but they can slash the mom with these. They're needle sharp. And then the mom can get to the point where she's like, I'm not nursing you now because you have really sharp teeth. And I'm like, oh, well, that's great. Like, obviously we can never breed our pig. So what do you do for these needle teeth? So I just kept reading. And apparently you can take, like, you can cut them, trim them, or you can grind them down so that they're not like a danger to the other pigs. And once you get good at this, you can get your vet to do it or you can do it. And once you get good at it, you can, it just takes a couple of minutes each time for each tooth. So I'm like, okay, even though that sounds gross, like, okay, at least there's like something you can do for it. But then I kept reading and it says, but that is inhumane, which it kind of is. You can't do that to your pigs. So now I'm like, okay, so now I got these slashing piglets and i'm not allowed to fix it so what do you do so you know what they recommend this is what they recommend they recommend that when you breed your pigs that you only breed for a couple of pigs like piglets you don't breed to have a big litter like how do you control that only god controls how many baby pigs can can be conceived like i don't even understand that at all i'm like oh my gosh so then if your mom gives birth to too many baby piglets then you're supposed to adopt some of them to another mom that only has a couple piglets so i'm like oh my gosh i only have one pig like how does that work look at she's in love they're in love with each other well they're kind of in love with each other anyways another thing that you can do so another way that they fix that issue is that they, she's listening to me. She's like, tell me the story, Laura. <laughs> so the other way, the only other way that they suggested that you fix this slashing with these needle teeth is that you provide the mom with lots of enrichment in her stall. Aww. One minute they love each other and one minute they hate each other. Ellie's just watching. She's like, oh, I want to kill them too. Ellie! <laughs> I spoke to Zoon. Get up here. <laughs> they will kill you. Trust me. Look at, she's like definitely weird. Isn't that weird? She, I wonder if she's in heat. Let me just check because she's got that tail going. But if she was in heat, she'd be at the door. But she's fighting everybody. She just wants to fight everybody and keep them away from the hay. So they also recommend that you keep lots of toys and make the environment really enriching for the mom so that she stays happy because if she's a happy mom, she'll make lots of milk. Lots of milk will decrease the amount of sibling rivalry there will be for the milk, for the teats. And also, you're supposed to have a big enough space for the babies that and that the mom can get away when she needs to. Oh my gosh, what, the wor what in the world is happening? Like, why is she wild? Why are you wild? Listen. Why are you wild? She has everybody on edge. Everybody's scared. Uh-oh, she's going to go for her. Run, cricket, run. She's coming for you. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that she's not charging the fence line, I'd think she was in heat. See, look at that tongue flicking. And her tail flicking. Her tail is up. Look, he's there. So she's due to come back into heat this week. Like today or tomorrow. So she's not going to the fence though. That's the one thing she always does is go to the fence. So basically, I told you that story to tell you that there probably will never be any baby pigs on this farm because it will be so hard. It's so much, like I get stressed by anything, any of, all of those things would stress me out, would stress me out to the point where I would lose my mind. Like that would be really hard for me. But yeah, like pigs, piglets have a high mortality rate soon after, within the first two weeks after birth anyways, like they for sure do. But now add that to the to the add that to the scenario and then you have like no wonder they have a high mortality rate like it's gonna be hard those slashing teeth those needle teeth also sometimes make mama pigs be like peace out i'm not feeding you because they can get hurt like i don't understand why god would create that like that seems kind of messed up look at how cute the chicken coop looks 
I love it. Okay, I don't know why, I just love it. It is dark out and we're just taking water to the chickens and Sam sent us a message. And he said, come here, quick. So we don't know what happened. It's a mystery. Another mystery on the day by day farm. We're running. <sighs> I found it on the doorstep there. We're trying to figure is out. He okay? Is he okay? I'll be a little salamander. He's cold. I'll pick it up here. He's not okay? He's probably too Maybe cold. Minute, Should we take him in the house and warm him up? Oh, I he's breathing. That. Should we yeah, give he's him? He's alive. He was moving. He's like ice cold. But he's like freezing cold, probably. Well, what should we do? I don't know. Microwave him. Got to find out what, <laughs> what you're supposed to do with him. Oh, I think we should put. <coughs> Do something. I feel bad. Put him in the microwave. Well, how, how about you let it go? It's it's <laughs> wow. in Rocket shock. Science. Rocket science. Let it go. I think Hear we should. Hear me out. If you put it in the oven, yeah. it'll be nice My and warm. My phone's not working because I don't have any data. All right. How come you don't have any data, man. I ran out. How do you run out of data? She. You have a lot of da you data. Yes, it's saying you had no data left. Yeah. Holy. How come we never got no messages? That's because I listened. You want to warm him up? Yeah. Why don't we get a big cloth and put him in it? All right, so show a few. Let's get something. Like, you can't love animals. You got a tank. I do have a All tank, right, let's but go it put doesn't him. have a lid. Or a heat. And he's moving now. Let's yeah. go put him in the... Let's Yeah, let's go put him in the tank. It might work. It doesn't have a lid. I'll either. put a lid on it. Okay. What the if heck he do salamanders... Him. What do salamanders eat? And he's trying to escape, Mom. Oh, so maybe he's just in shock. Because well, they're cold-blooded. Aren't they cold-blooded? I breathed on him. How do I know that they're cold-blooded? Well, you know why? Me. Going on my kids, my boys' field trips. <laughs> I got you there, buddy. You said he is <laughs> Oh, my gosh. If we go in there later and he's not there, I'm going to Yeah, that will not be good. Uh, <laughs> knowing that there's a salamander running around your house is not a fun thing. Just put him in the little bowl and we'll put a cover over it. Okay. There's shells in here. Dump them. We'll just put him in there for tonight. Oh yeah, he's ready to roll now. That's dusty. All right. Where do we put him? In the microwave? No, no. <laughs> you want to put him in something so we can <laughs> contain him. All right. So that's where he's gonna stay until he gets warmed up. Yeah, he's really slow. We'll do some Is he research. dead? Is that what he's been doing? I don't know. Like he, Cause just, he just rolled over and is like, I'm dead. Yeah, he, oh, he died. <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, I think he's frozen. No, I'm, he's doing his little roll thingy that. To get out? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, let's All right, let's go finish the chickens and then we'll come back. Please be here when we come Anya, back. Anya, don't eat the little. Anya, don't eat it. Don't you 